wall. And there is a Cypher camera as well, just staring at ramps. So they've got that at any point just to try and gain any information. Uh, but it is going to be the push onto the A site here. Oh, and they block off Drone in the back. So he can't really get involved in the fight. And he's just going to have to focus on actually tearing that one down. But Wardell, though, he'll be the one to handle all the business that's necessary. Sinatra gets a kill. Dapper as well gets follow-up. Spike now will be planted. And it is just going to be Dapper. He's healthy. He's Dapper. Whether or not, though, this is going to work out, he has to be mindful of the fact that there were players coming from that ramp side. And that will be a first blood here for TSM as they managed to pick up this. And this goes right back to your point, Gaskin, that no on the defense, left. this is... Oh, there we there we go. Go. We're back. Oof. Okay, we're good. We're good. A little worry there for a moment. Look at these smokes. And just full vision denial. Haze playing this angle here. Pops one, gets damage into the second. The paranoia is going to be so chunky too. Just ensuring there's not going to be any aggression here from TSM. There's that camera again on the A side, just to push the player away from ramps, but there is that aggression into B garage. Sinatra gets one. Hayes is gonna be able to retreat after the trade, and that's big, that's important. Yeah, and I did like this one out, but now that the slow orb has dissipated, they'll be receiving them down low. Hayes is on this angle, right down low, but that is just a Shazam peak for, just, just for the win, that was just great. But here's Wardell. He's still alive. He's still going to be a problem. But I think as he creeps forward here, Shazam will be waiting for this. Yeah. Clean kill on Dapper as he try to make a problem for them on the flank. 2v3. Watch out for the stage. Just pushing out. They heard it as well. Sick heard that movement, so jumped right on the opportunity to do so. Drone, this is not going to be a winnable situation for him. Couldn't even get inside of the site. And Sentinels will take this round win. They'll put their first here in our second game of the day in this best of five. I'm surprised. I thought maybe Drone would be the one getting aggressive and trying to force plays. He seems to be there or thereabouts at the right place at the right time. And it's aggression again towards A. Sinatra gets the opener onto Subrosa. So for all this time, they've just been putting a camera up and showing presence. But now when TSM maybe don't expect it, instead you get the double push to ensure they get the trade. And but Wardell's going to even the odds here with that shot on the Zom. So you lose out the paranoia, the smoke, that you, very critical utility that they could use to try and take sight here. Enemy oh, kill. man, Shazam. He looked away. He was still holding the angle. But then he thought that, well, if I turn this corner, someone will surely be there. And as he looked, it just did not pay off for him. Drone being brother. forced back on screens. Wardell didn't like the no shot, chance. so he's going to tailwind out of there. It wasn't an angle that he was comfortable with. Then Drone comes right back into the fray. Spike down, but it's basically just going to be sick. And it doesn't matter how good you are as a battle sage. There's just no room for you to be able to work with. They suffocated him on A site. And TSM will get another round here. Time for Sentinels and RTSM. Gonna have the right players in the right time. Wardo doesn't connect with that shot, but look at this flash from Drone. It's huge. When you see a jet with a judge. Really, the only option is just to fly at someone's face and shoot them a million times. But they will be able to use that res to bring them back into the fight here. So that's going to give them that exactly. slight advantage. And they know that someone's still going to be tucked away. So Shazam being brought back in really doesn't end up doing anything as Hayes gets a kill. And just look at the peak as well. Using the glass above screens to just give him a bit more intel as to where they're going to be located. Now, though, they'll jump right back over because I think he saw maybe it was a maybe one player there, but there was just not enough for him to go for that commitment. There's Wardell as he drops back over to the side, a comfortable position by the elbow. This guy is basically going to be dead to rise. But watch out, though, because Zoms was waiting for him. Hayes was prepared to actually help him out. Now 2v2. Spike's still going to be in play here for Sentinels. And they go over toward B because they think that maybe they actually rotated within all of that commotion. It's because they Hayes just Hayes doesn't back. get what he wants. Yeah, he doesn't get what he wants. He doesn't see anything. So they're still going to be a bit perplexed as to where they're going to be. But time is ticking. They just held that spike towards A main. They didn't commit to it. They forced TSM onto the site. But now they're going to push towards B. And it's going to be a two versus one. And they make it a two versus one to end the round as well. Spike will go down. And we're going to have to see whether this one versus two retake for Hayes is actually going to be successful. At least he's got full health here.
full health. He's got all the armor to work with, too. Now, look at that, though. This is a, a smart one because with Dapper going all the way wrapping around toward heaven, it's going to give Hayes, like, really just no open opportunities here. Going to run right into this stage on the other side. So that's going to be the exchange. And he's expecting the poke to be coming in from that garage, but instead it's Dapper from heaven. As Safety, as some coverage. Things slow down here yet again. So Bros is going to be the first point of contact. Satchel comes through. He hears that jet dash over to the side. And Sabrosa continues to be up here in, in causing distractions and problems as well. And this guy is going to get toasted in the corner. Oh, oh but when you think that he's going to be out of it, he still manages to squeak away two kills. It's going to be very difficult for him to work with anything here with 18 HP. He does oh, have he gets another one. I mean, the man is 18 HP, but he's still being effective. Now he's going to just go and go right over toward B. Saw that a player was going to be there. That gives him some intel that the only on, one that will on. be left here at A is the sniper. 32 seconds remaining. Clock is going to continue to tick down. Wardell has repositioned over towards screens. And now they'll be sending two players here, too. That's going to be Hayes ready and waiting. Very successfully. Clone killed. Zam getting that first frag there to start things off. Also, watch out for that showstopper. I don't think it found any targets. Mid is available now. Hayes watching the angle with this op. Only one player is going to be there for the cross, and the dark cover is going to block that off. So, Rosa now, he knows where they are. He knows at least where one player is going to be. And if he hears the ropes, he was going to say, if he heard the ropes, he was going to go for that shot there. But that's okay. While he does use the orbital strike, it forces them. They don't really get any opportunity to back away in case things just don't go that well. It, I think it, you know, in hindsight, he probably would have loved to have been able to hold on to that one as Zoms picks up a kill against Tutler. The paranoia does not. And uh, perhaps that can be the way that they can get onto some of these sites because TSM do seem to be wise to all these pushes now. They've clocked onto it and they're starting to rack up round after round. Yeah, and that freeze also. You can tell you saw it on the screen. Shazam was going to be the victim there in that fight as he came out of anime. Now, Dapper just with minimal options to work around with. They're trying to see if they could pull anything out uh, on B side, but with Wardell patrolling that with the op, and then Hayes has this angle too. It could be bad news bears for Sentinels. They see the peak too. The swing's going to be coming from the left side as well, and he's really going to be committing to that. So Rosa does get a kill has no health and then he manages to get three kills so you know it's like what do we know right teleport is there oh and it doesn't matter the drone's there as well but okay dapper i see you don't think you can have time to plan this though. read though for the tp because well you know they stopped them there so even if that didn't happen they still have oh, stupidity happening in that two versus one so i can appreciate it being used there Ooh, sub rosa i like that mid aggression Sinatra was not expecting that at all. He was looking over at the doorway, and then he could safely back away, go back to Hayes, get the wall up, and they're fine. He'll just go right back into the safe haven of heaven. Right Wardell has just been holding this A site, uh, this B site, sorry, comfortably on his own. They don't need a cipher when you've got Wardell being able to hold it that successfully with the off, and Sabros is denying Shazam oh, any no. sort of shot towards heaven. Oh, they're cooking. Yeah, that, that, ain't, yep, that was just uh, into the meat grinder there. Shazam was looking at him. Now, Cutler has to deal with this. Does have a paranoia. Just going to be actually uh, deployed out, it seems. Two kills exchanged. The Sages managed to pick up some action now. Smoke's down. Wardell is still going to be hard holding on B. And Sabrosa getting to work in the rope room. Two players there. A site's wide open. This res now couldn't come at a better time here for Sentinels. I know exactly where you are. And then the Neuro Theft as well. So they got a lot of intel. This is going to give them all the room that they need. There goes the paranoia. I think it did connect there for a moment. And they just tried to use their fake footsteps to try and bait them towards A. And Yeah. And then they, they did that pretty successfully. Right back to B. And of course, with the neural theft, it is always going to make things a little bit more challenging. TSM with a little bit of money to work with, so they could go for this. And of course, with Wardell oh. in his blades, they're certainly going to give this, this a go. Oh. Okay. 
The poke actually okay. came in first from Dapper. I mean, okay. just the gall from that man while Wardell had the blades out. Respect that because Wardell don't miss with those, not often. So strike here and are waiting for some Rosa and there's a lot of people that are gonna be right in the middle of this. It's gonna be some damage and it forces them out. That was like the perfect orbital strike and then the run it back as well. Let's not forget. Has been able to do so. It's actually gonna be Dapper this time around and then the reactive paranoia comes in. Is actually going to prep them to be able to drop them back into the site and herd them exactly where they want. Now here comes Shazam. Coverage is watching all these different angles, and he doesn't get the Blade Storm either. Gets that kill. This round changes significantly. There, Zom actually was still standing there alone. This gave them a lot of stall. So we just heard that the teleport was used. But I don't think it really mattered and what benefited them there in the moment in time. But now we are in a position here where Sentinels can get themselves a fourth round win. Spike is going to go down. But Drone has a lot of utility to mess around with here. Blaze Walk can give him a transition. One player is going to be on the outside. He throws that camera out. Drone flies and sends it. But in See, all the players are going to be stacked. The rotation is going to start to come through. The jet dash is going to be right in effect there in the, the wall, common wall placement give them some kind of control on site, but they're actually going to be tucked away inside of the corner. Color's going to make the worst of the best of a bad situation, I should say, though. Drone is going to follow up as well. Now that that wall is out, we're just going to give them no access to site. It basically... Breathe and reevaluate. Well, they got exactly the information that they wanted, so now they're going to cut off this area here from screens, but Sick rotates just in the nick of time. The two kills that... Target plays out, but just living by that wall shazam he is just so patient now his whole team's gonna come and shazam's got a lot to work with here a lot to work with he's gonna drop back they're still gonna continue to commit to this here and shazam has a lot of angles that he needs to be mindful of zombs gets two kills there in turn sinatra's gonna join the fun if he's not actually trying to get to ramp he's probably just sending dark cover there just to consistently show presence so that it's not gonna be an easy rotate but shazam gets the opener Massive. Team, they, they, I don't think they really got what they wanted, and they're just now going to have to commit to this. Hayes is ready for this. Oh, and, no. You know, startling turn of events. Hayes actually gets a double as Sick and Dapper. They were just tired of waiting. That's going to leave Sinatra here on B side. He hasn't had the most explosive of games that we would typically see of him. But I'm not too concerned about that, considering that he can always turn it up at a moment's notice. Does manage to pick up the kill. We'll use the boom bot and also finds out that a player is going to be there. Challenger on the side and Hayes. Hayes had a, a moment to blink there with that. Thankfully, it worked out for him, but unfortunate for Sinatra, who just had too much to handle. And the attackers do manage to come through. Sorts of dark covers uh, going to be deployed here as well. The bros of those gonna start things off and a nice kill for him there. Own works mid. Shazam might get this pick with the Bucky and oh, oh okay, he's gonna shoot that one right up the uh uncomfortable areas there. Does get the kill. But that will tell them that the site is gonna be available for them because they got some intel as to where players are gonna be positioned there. Spike now planted all the way at the back corner. Now let's see how Sentinels, who have always been exquisite on the retake, what do they do here? They have four players alive. Shazam might be able to get this open kill, but it's going to be Cutler. Oh, no! I actually thought that Cutler was going to get the better of Shazam there, but instead it's Shazam who thrives. Hazo is waiting. They knew that he was going to be positioned there. Sinatra's dancing around this. Needs about this shot, and he couldn't get the gun or the bullet back into the gun in time. And even doesn't really have a choice. He's going to have to back up. Actually forces him off of that position. And then Dapper's just going to send it inside. Gets the spike down and also will pick up a gun. But he does not pick up the follow-up kill onto Hayes. It's going to be Sinatra who ends up doing that. And now that spike has been picked back. Perfect position. There. Has Showstopper too. They did not see him go there. And Six going to do all. Oh, but there actually is going to be the reactive there. Nice paranoia. But Sick waited for the opportunity. The satchel still does damage. But Sick again. Sinatra was everything. Of course, the initial kill with the frenzy oh, too. Just being aggressive through that smoke. As he's going to be made control yet again. And Sick just pokes his gun through. At least Sinatra is there for the trade. At that because they have that trust and the TSM. Well, they were the ones that really led the charge when it came to that, too. 
Now, though, this push is actually going to end up happening here toward B. Sinatra does manage to pick up a kill, and he's going to be slowed, but does manage to do some damage here. 6 HP to Drone. He's would have been dead last patch. Yeah, would have been. <laughs> That's true. He would have been dead last patch. Yes, you are right. But there's just uh, like very few options for them here. No paranoia. I think that you just want to play these exits. If you're Zoms, get a kill on Wardell. That's nice, right? Wardell just sitting in the dark cover, being a little bit of a sneaky beaver and getting a kill on to Zoms as well. So now with Fushazam, it's just a case of saving this up. And will we see TSM go on the hunt? That's the real question. Do they want to deny the operator yeah. from Shazam? When you look at that money, it is a little bit awkward indeed. Yes, okay, Shazam, if yeah. he saves the op, he can buy for someone. Zoms can buy for himself. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't he hunt for this? Yeah, why, why, yeah, why wouldn't he? he, right? He's just going on the look. He's just trying to find it. He gets the kill. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. He might pop up on him, but a moment now. Information has been given with the teleport there, but Zapper is good for one. Also, the neural theft, too. That is quite good for them just to get the neural theft off at that uh, blink of an eye moment. Also, some Rosa. He's going to be banged up, but should be able to get out of this. 37 HP, though. 6 HP. Scratch that. Spike goes down to default. They know that this is the case here, and I think, you know, as far as what this retake could look for Sentinels, they really just have to worry about two players. And I know that may be, uh, you know, kind of discounting the brimstone here, but understand that they have so many eyes just scattered about that map. Cutler will have to do something amazing here. Even with that low HP, Sub Rosa still gets the kill, leaving only just Wardell to hold that down. Sentinels are going to maintain this control here, and they will add another point on the a little bit more presence towards A, but also are going to be coming out of sewers. And Wardell Ooh. gets the better of Shazam. He does not fear any man who has an offer in his hand. Sinatra apparently doesn't fear anything that could be challenging him inside of the smoke. He gets a kill and equals it up here, 4-4. Four, four. Drone waiting inside a dark cover. If Wardell gets a sniff, he's going to pop that. He does see some movement and also sees another player there as well. Look out for Drone can actually contribute to this here but actually he's going to get caught off and then won't be able to do much now while all that was, was going on they were working there was some activity happening over on toward the a side but they just recognized that they needed to uh, rotate around and a smart read too the walls out it brings those two players over and then at that point they send it over to a almost like you dive into that trap on possible you literally you are the mouse you do it on purpose, you activate the traps, you bring those players towards the site, whilst the rest of the team just hobbles on over to a site, and now it's a 2 versus 3 retake for Sentinels, and Ooh, it's not going to be easy. Down. Wardell is slightly weak, though. He's, but he has a really nice angle here. One Zoms pushes this, he's going to get shot. Oh, no! He actually goes for the shot, but misses it out now. Zoms and them are going to just go for the side take, but Dapper dies in the process now, just leaving Zoms or TSM. That's why they're going to be in a position that they're in right now, and Zoms is going to be with a weak stinger there, but Shazam still has that op and has his teammates back. Zoms is going to go inside of the dark cover, and here's movement, so he actually exchanges positions there for a moment. Shazam hits a big shot there. Now it's just going to be one player left alive for TSM, and he's coming all the way around. Dapper waiting, potentially. Hayes can win this one. The, the rocket does not get anything. And actually, may have heard that, too, by screen. Oh, oh no. I thought that was going to be a connection, but he doesn't get a kill. Now Sinatra waiting on site. They've got Hayes. all the info. Like, they know yeah, where they he is. They know where he is. That was his chance. He had to hit those shots. And Hayes just has to look at too many areas. He has to worry about heaven. He has to worry about screens. But now he knows exactly where these two players are going to be. Heals himself up now. The Pope. Dapper just attempting to go for the look. But they double peek following right behind. They're stacking up now. And Shazam's just checking his corners as he should. He has a teammate there to back him up to. They're going to go for this. And now with that shot, 
That's actually going to be the push. So Borozo manages to get the kill, but Sig is going to be waiting in the wings, and that's two for him. Oh, this is a big round for Sentinels, but Wardell pokes around. It's still going to be so tough because he's by himself. He only has a few seconds remaining, and Sentinels... You know the paranoia is not going to be available to them now, and that was a, a job well done at the outer lanes of the map. And then Hayes pushes inside of Garage. So this actually is gonna take a lot of activity over here toward B site, even though the spike is gonna be located at A. This is just a great fake to pull attention over toward Hayes. You will now that they know that that kill has happened, no, they're actually just exactly gonna have Zombs right. here to try and hold this thing off. The Neural Theft has been used. So they know where they're oh. located, but Zombs, I mean, Zombs by, by right in the back site now and he bails away right at the nick of time shazam finds wardell only player's going to be left alive is cutler there is just no real options for him and we are within one the money for they tsm they, they want to force tsm to do something but tsm are going to go all the way to defend the spawn zombs does get one but at least wardell is there for the trade and that's a gun to wardell here gb and that is big big news Yes, but Wardell is going to be split up from the rest of the team. So no one was there to help him out. Shazam gets kills with the knives there, but Shazam actually can't back away. And now the A site's going to be available here. Oh man, it's going to be a 3v2. So Rosa dies because of that. They have a res, but they won't be able to use it against anyone. 75 HP for Hayes. Two to three players are going to be located here by the screen. And Hayes manages to get one. The slow orb is going to go out there. Hayes continues. Oh. He goes in for another. That's going to give Cutler an advantage here. He plays the corner now. And if he gets this kill, I, I would just be stunned. They turned a awful situation into something spectacular. In an angle that I do not think Sick is going to be prepared for here. The first, and that is going to do it. TSM, TSM, get the win. Third.